Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 21st to the 25th of August 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we are going to run through a number of pairs, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for for this coming week or in the weeks ahead. So I hope you all had a great week last week. Let's jump over to the charts and we can see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see that the US dollar index did trade into the 1200 psychological area, which we had highlighted from last week. And from that area, we got a sell off back down to the upward sloping trend line here, denoted by these points here. And we currently sit at the upward sloping trend line in the US dollar index. Now we are looking for an overall continuation of the downtrend from over here. So we are ultimately looking for a continuation down to the targets of the 11.822 and the 11.776. However, where price is sitting right now on the upward sloping trend line here means we are still in this corrective phase and we have no choice but to go into next week with a bullish bias on the US dollar index and possibly looking for a retest of the 1200 psychological area before maybe we get the breakout to the downside into these targets to the downside in the US dollar index. Now, just bear in mind that although we go into next week with a bullish bias, this is a short term bias. And if we start to see a breakout of this downward sloping trend line, then our bias will change from bullish to bearish. And we'll be looking for some corrections in order to trade these shorts to the downside to the two targets highlighted down here. So just bear that in mind going into next week. If we get a breakout of this upward sloping trend line into this area, we don't want to be looking for longs in the US dollar index. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week we did have highlighted the 47.32 area down here as the next key area of support, although we were looking for a continuation of this overall uptrend and we were looking for longs into the 50.524 and also the 51.743. And these two targets still stand for this week. However, we said if we start to get a breakdown of the 4581 area of support over here, then we were going to look down towards the 47. 0.320 and when we got a break down here that's where we came down to now we got a little bounce from this area and we did in fact get a breakout of the overall uptrend and this trend line here and after we got a breakout we actually failed to stay below the 47.32 and as you can see on that failure we had some serious money here coming into the upside in oil so with price trading back above the 47.320, we are now looking for a correction, maybe even a bounce off of the key level of support here where it sits right now. And if we get a pullback, certainly if we get a pullback to retest the upward sloping trend line or even the 47.3 area of support over here, then we are going to look to initiate longs in oil and we're going to be looking up towards the targets that we've had highlighted to the upside for a few weeks now, which is the 50.524 and the 51.743. So we are anticipating some strength coming into oil next week. And just bear in mind, guys, if we get some strength in oil, we should see that reflecting positively on the Canadian dollar. So if you're looking to trade any CAD pairs, you'd be looking for Canadian strength next week if oil maintains its push to the upside as expected. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro us dollar now the euro us dollar is currently sitting at a key level of support of the 1.16827 now we are expecting some general weakness in the us dollar index because we're looking for a continuation of the big downtrend now if that happens we will be looking for a breakout here of this downward sloping trend line and we'll be looking for this support area down here at the 1.16827 to hold and we're going to be looking at initiating longs next week in the euro us dollar up towards the first target of the 1.19680 and then secondly to the 1.20670 so we'd be looking to enter a position on a pullback down into this area somewhere and then possibly another one if we get a breakout over here like this 
If, however, we get that one final push up to the 1200 psychological area in the US dollar index, then we may get either a retest of the 1.16827, which would be a great place to initiate longs, or we may even get a push deeper down to the 1.16280, which is the next key area support on the euro US dollar. However, we would only be looking for moves back down into these areas to buy into the euro US dollar at a better price. We won't look at shorting this. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now the pound US dollar currently sits at a key area of resistance at the 1.29028. And you can see that we're making this kind of continuation pattern to the downside. So next week we are going to be looking to initiate shorts in the pound US dollar pretty much from where we sit now. Maybe if we get a little bit of a pullback, maybe even a retest of this key area of resistance here. We're going to be looking to initiate shorts in this pair. And we've identified the next key area of support to the downside as the 1.27364. And that will be our target for any shorts taken next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now the US dollar franc has pulled back. It is in an overall downtrend, as you can see over here. And we're viewing this at the moment just as simply a correction. And as you can see, we've started to get this kind of reversal pattern to the downside, which is called a head and shoulders in the US dollar franc. Now going into next week, we can see that the US dollar franc is trading between a range bottom of 0 0.96321 and a range top at 0 0.97117. So what we're looking for, especially if the US dollar index does make one final push to the upside, we could be looking at a move back up to the top of the range here. And then from the top of the range, we'd be looking to initiate shorts in order to get the next move to the downside. And the first target we're looking at in the US dollar franc is the 0 0.95557. Now, it really depends how you like to trade. If you are more of an aggressive trader, you might want to try and see if you can take the longs up to the range top. However, we will probably be looking just for this pullback uh, to give us a great place to get shorts from a better price in the US dollar franc, looking for the next big move to the downside. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now the Aussie US dollar is in an overall uptrend and we are treating this whole move here as a correction. We are looking for uh, a further advance to the upside in the Aussie US dollar and we had this 0 0.78796 area of support. This is a very important area of support going back all the way over here. And we broke below this and then coming into last week, towards the end of last week, we actually broke back above this key area of support and we came back to test it over here, which is a very good sign for the balls in the Aussie US dollar. As a result, we go into next week looking for a continuation to the upside in the Aussie US dollar. If we get a final push up to the 1200 psychological area in the US dollar index, we may see a second test of the key area of support over here. However, either way, we're going to be looking to initiate longs in the Aussie US dollar next week, preferably from this area of support on a retest. But if not, if we start to see bullish formations and patterns appearing anywhere above this key area of support, we're going to look to initiate longs up towards the 0 0.80381 and then up towards the 0 0.81 psychological area, which are the next two key areas of resistance in the Aussie US dollar. Now, the next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, similar to the Aussie US dollar, we had a key area of support at the 0 0.72674 and we got a test of this support area pullback and then a break and we broke back above this area and now we came back down close to the key area of support over here uh, for a retest. So as a result, we go into next week looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear on the New Zealand US dollar so we can take some longs in this pair. However, similar to the Aussie US dollar, if the US dollar index does tag that 1200 psychological area to the upside again, we may see this pull down on a bit of US dollar strength and it may come down to retest the 0 0.72 674 support area and if we get this kind of move this will actually be a corrective pattern down to test this if we get that we're going to be looking to initiate longs from this key area of support and a retest of this and we're going to be looking up to the first target of the 0 0.73624 and then higher up to the 0 0.74500 and this could even go even further so next pair we're going to look at is the euro pound now the euro pound is in an uptrend it has been struggling a little bit last week as you can see things got a little bit choppy up here price is getting a little bit squeezed but ultimately the euro pound is still in an uptrend even though price is getting a bit squeezed 
We have a key area of support and resistance at the 0.90890. Now it was a key area of resistance and it's been broken. And as you can see, price came back and tested it once, twice last week before we started to get a push higher. As a result, next week we are going to be looking to initiate longs on the euro pound, preferably if we got a pullback down in towards this area, towards the 0 0.9100 psychological area, because we have the confluence of the trend line, the psychological area, and the support resistance level. However, if we start to see bullish formations and patterns appearing pretty much where it is now, we're going to look to take them, and we're going to be looking up to the 0 0.92250 which is a very significant resistance point. And in fact, this could be the resistance area which reverses this overall uptrend. So keep a close eye on the 0 0.92250 area. Certainly want to be taking any profits uh, before we get to this area, if possible, just somewhere in this area here. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound yen. Now the pound yen is clearly in a downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows. And last week we had this kind of pattern here which is called a bear flag and we had a push down now and a break of the key area of support at the 141.395 so what we would like to see this week is a pullback and a retest of this broken support level over here to become resistance and if we get a pullback into this area we're going to look to initiate shorts and we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the next key area of support 138.712 in the pound yen The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now the US dollar CAD is an overall downtrend and again we are treating this here just as simply a correction. As you can see we started to get a breakout here of this corrective move and this kind of channel to the upside over here and we broke below the key area of support at the 1.26249 as you can see it came down to here and it held here pushed up a little bit before failing. So what we're looking for next week is a short pullback into this key area of support looking to turn resistance and also as you can see we have a confluence here not just of the new resistance area over here which is this failed support but we also have this downward sloping trend line so if we get some pullback into this area this is going to be a fantastic place to look to initiate shorts and we're going to be looking down to the targets of the 1.24854 and then also down to the 1.23389. Now, if we start to see the US dollar index failing at the trend line where it sits right now, and we start to see the oil price really shoot to the upside as we're expecting next week, then keep an eye on the US dollar CAD guys because you'll have a weak US dollar and you would have a strong CAD and we could see this thing really fly to the downside, certainly taking out at least the two targets highlighted here if not a little bit further. So just keep that in mind going into next week. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.